Hey guys, welcome to episode uh, 4 of our tutorial series in Gates of Hell. Today we're going to be looking at the board command uh, and just the single command. So, it should be a really quick video or a fairly quick video. Um, so, let's get into it. Alright, so first up, I need a vehicle. Units to board. We're just going to have a uh, infantry truck. We're just going to copy and paste some Germans having a chat. Next thing you want to do is the vehicle that, you, that you're that you using, uh, put a tag. So just put um, something that you remember. And then same, same with the infantry. You want to give them a tag, a separate tag. Same as the truck. Two different tags. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go to your figures tab and go add. We'll just call it uh, and in your commands, we'll do a delay of five just so we can see it working. Otherwise, as soon as we click start, they're going to instantly go into the vehicle. And then from there, we'll do the board command. So the location of that is an actor board. The selector, so if I go back, the selector here, the uh, the infantry or the or whoever you want to enter the vehicle. The vehicle, well, that's obviously the vehicle that you're using uh, and that you want the units to board. Uh, then click OK, that's it. Um, so that will work. Like that. That's that. Here you go. Moving in. And they're ready. Um, I'm also going to show you uh, how to get the vehicle moving once they've board board the vehicle. Pretty simple. You want to go back to waypoint tab or group, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you want to go add group and we'll just call it German the truck. You want to click add waypoint. First one here, select it, click add. These guys, I don't know, they back to HQ or something, so we're going to have them get deleted here. At the last waypoint, right click on your commands, go add and go delete. Um, and then select all the waypoints, um, change the radius to 50, radius over here, 50. Now the reason behind that. Uh, it's just so they stay more or less on the road. Um, otherwise, they have the ability to move within that radius. As you can see, there's a blue circle there. So our default set to 200. You look, 200 is quite big, so they may go all over the place. So keep them more or less on the road. Set it to 50. Also explain this in the convoys tutorial. So check that out if you want to know how to do convoys. Um, all right, so now we've done that. Let's go back to the triggers tab. Click on the board truck. We're going to click on delay and go Alt C. We're going to copy it. Now, five seconds is is um is probably good if you want them to be like in a rush. You know, if they're retreating, you want them to to you know move their ass. Use five seconds or even, um, but we're gonna go 10. They're not in a rush, so 10 seconds will be more than enough. And then the next command will be waypoint. Um, so we'll, the who will be an actor, and tag will be the German truck. 
and waypoint zero. Um, we're not clicking clone because there's no hidden tag. And then the next command, you don't need it, but I recommend it, is an active state. Active, active state, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then German truck AI set it to whatever you want. We'll go uh, normal speed and we we'll just say it's twenty five. Let's test this out. There you go. Play around with those waypoints. Might be um, a little bit too sharp. Turning radius is in the vehicle is not great. And just to show you that it will delete on, once it reaches that waypoint. There you go. And there you go, guys. That is literally the board command in a nutshell. So you can use it on literally everything from aircrafts to um, static weapons to um, vehicles, tanks, armored vehicles, trains boats, whatever it is, you can do it. Alright, following on to this, the next tutorial will be uh, the emit command, so sort of like the the reverse. Uh, the That command, the emit command will emit troops from vehicles. I'll show that in a separate video. But apart from that guys, till then I'll uh, see you soon and take care.